let's see what are the things that you can do and the things that you cannot do on social media. First, always reflect your brand through your social media. This is very important. Here, I took the example of Emery. And if you see, for instance, the visual that shows uh, the ladies smiling, okay, uh, each one from a, uh, from a different nationality, which is of Emirates and the, the richness of its service on board of its aircraft. Another do is always interact with your audience. So here, for instance, this is Damas jewelry. And here we see that someone was asking about the price of that necklace that the lady is wearing. And Damas on the spot responded to them and asked them to call them to give them the price or to visit them. So always interact with your audience whenever your audience is talking to you. Now also, share nice visuals. For instance, in this case, this is a restaurant, okay? And for you as a restaurant, uh, no, Mohammed. If you interact with your customers, it might lead to an argument. Yes, it might lead to an argument. But the most important is for you to know how to manage this argument. So first, my advice to you is, if you get a complaint from a customer on social media, Okay, and this is what we do as a business is first, you always respond to show to show the others. So to show your fans that you care about them and that you do not leave any comments unanswered. Okay, now the next thing you do is you actually ask that person to send you a contact, to send you privately a contact number or a contact email, and then you take the problem offline. Okay and you deal with it on a one-to-one -one basis by phone or by email. This way you avoid to get into arguments with the customers and to give a bad image of your business. Okay, so make sure you always answer because answering means that you actually care about the client and that is most importantly to the other fans on your Facebook page that will see that you are actually answering. And then if you think there is a serious problem, Always take it offline and deal with it offline by phone or by email. That's my advice to you. Okay, so share nice visuals to go back to the presentation, especially if you are in a visual business. This is what attracts more the customers. Now, don'ts. The don'ts are very important and be careful about those because they might get you, they might get your social media failure. Okay, if people notice what you are doing. So don't follow to get followed, okay? And then unfollow all of your followers. I mean, all of the people you are following. So this is the example of Ghadur. Ghadur is a very uh, is a very famous Lebanese manufacturer of FMCG, like chocolate, biscuits, and stuff like that, okay? And one day Ghadur decided to be on Twitter. So they started following people on Twitter, and people followed back, and they started interacting with them, and then it was really good. And then suddenly, once they had followers, okay, what they did is they unfollowed everybody. And they, I don't know who they're talking to right now, but they're obviously not talking to us because that was something, that was the worst thing they could do on Twitter. And they actually did it. And this is what reflects bad to your business. Another example is don't offend your customers and potential customers. So again, this is a guy who was actually talking to Rimco, which are the distributors of Nissan cars in Lebanon. So he was saying that he saw the advertisement and he didn't like it. Okay, it's his right to say that on social media. But the problem is, uh, if you see Rimco's answer to that, okay, and when they, when they actually tell him, actually, we don't care about your opinion. So make sure not to offend your customers and potential customers and mostly because this is social media. So it's not only the customer who is saying that message from Rimco, it is everybody on social media. And the thing is that this went uh, viral here in Lebanon, okay? Exactly, Ahmed, wow. I mean, how, how indecent or how uh, rude can someone be when you tell your customer that you don't care about their opinion, okay? And the problem is 
that after this was said and done and after everybody saw it on social media, everybody was appalled, okay, Rimko came out and said, oh, but you know what, this was staged. We did it on purpose to have people talk about us. So be careful about never offending your customers and your potential customers.